Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is finally time. The Godot 3 series is starting as of today. This video here is just an introduction. Uh, basically, if you are already sold on the idea of a Godot 3 tutorial series, uh, you can probably skip forward to the next part. Although, if there is something specific you want to cover, this is the spot to tell me. Tell me down below in the comments. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to be doing is a lot like I did with my earlier Godot tutorial. My Godot 1, 2 stuff. I'm going to basically be doing everything I did there and more. There's been a lot that's happened with Godot 3. It's uh, amazing how far this engine has come in such a short period of time. And I'm going to make sure across the life of this tutorial series to cover all of those things. I'm also doing something a little bit new with this one. I'm actually writing an ebook that goes along with it. So pretty much for every video here, there's going to be a corresponding chapter, more or less one-to-one -one in the book. So um, it's going to be a pretty comprehensive tutorial series, both video-wise and if you're interested in helping support uh, Game From Scratch channel or you're just interested interested in buying a comprehensive Godot 3 book, uh, do be sure to check that out. Now, it's a work in progress, as is this series, so it won't be done until this series is done. However, if you are a patron, I am making preview chapters available as I create them. So basically, as I finish a work in progress of a chapter, I am pushing it up to the patron page. Uh, additionally, once I'm far enough along, I'll probably do a pre-sale on the book, so basically you can get early access to it. So if you're interested in that, check out down below. Now, what exactly is so exciting about Godot 3? Well, quite a bit, actually. One thing a lot of people are really looking forward to is there is now C-sharp support or um, coming soon, full-blown C-sharp support. Um, and I know that, especially for a lot of people moving over from Unity, that is a big deal, but that isn't it. Now, of course, if you're new to Godot, uh, it is an open source, MIT um, source code licensed uh, 2D, 3D game engine, comprehensive set of tools, uh, pretty much everything you would expect to use in a game engine. Now, one of the weaknesses of Godot up to the 3 release, though, was the 3D renderer was a little subpar. Um, and in Godot 3, it got a huge amount of boost. So it's got a much more uh, viable and capable 3D engine. Uh, now we've got a full physical, physically based rendering uh, material support on the back end. We've got uh, better importing, uh, GLTF file format can now be brought in. Um, but on top of that, we've got other features such as uh, better networking, uh, VR headset support, uh, improvements basically just across the entire engine. And we're going to be going into all of those things throughout this series. We're going to cover, um, now most of the scripting is going to be done using GDScript, the primary scripting language of Godot. I think the majority of people using Godot are using GDScript. Now GDScript is a Python type variant. Don't worry, I will be teaching it as part of the series. Now another part of Godot though, is that is no longer the only option. As I mentioned earlier, C Sharp language support has come to the Godot engine. And we will cover that later on. But examples are going to be in GDScript. On top of that, there's also now a visual graph-based programming language. We will cover that as well. And we will also look at the Godot shader language support at a later point in this series. So don't worry, we are going to be covering all of those things. But for the examples throughout the actual um, video series and the book are going to primarily be in GDScript. I know that's going to disappoint a few people. But really, it is still the lingua franca of Godot, so it makes the most sense to me to do things primarily using GDScript. But again, don't worry. If you use one of those other platforms, if you're using one of those other languages, there will be a chapter on each one of those accordingly. We'll also look at deploying to the various different platforms that are out there, and there are many of them. Basically, Godot supports um, all your primary mobile platforms, you know, so your iOS, your Android, uh, HTML5, uh, pretty much all the major desktop uh, operating systems and um, there's even some fledgling support for um, console support on the back end. Of course, there's some license and stipulation problems that are, are there. You need to have a direct license for the, each of the different console manufacturers, obviously, to take advantage of that. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there is also VR support, which we will also have a section covering. In fact, I've already actually done a video on VR support, so if you're interested, uh, do be sure to check that out. So, uh, in summary, that is it. The uh, Godot series is starting. I'm going to have a couple more videos up very shortly. Uh, we're going to cover some of the, the introductory stuff first. We're going to do a guided tour of the IDE, you know, teach you how to, you know, install it, uh, get your first project up and going, and find you and navigate your way around it. Uh, we're going to do a little bit on GDScript so you, you know, have a basic understanding of uh, how to use it. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. If you already know the Python programming language, you can pick up GDScript in half of an afternoon. It's very, very straightforward language. And even if you've never used Python and you've got 
got some programming experience, it's a pretty easy language to learn. And then we're going to jump straight in. We're going to start with uh, some of the 2D stuff, move on to 3D, uh, and we're going to do a deep dive on it. We're going to be covering input, physics, sound playback, uh, animations. Uh, then, we'll, like I said, we'll get into VR, uh, multiplayer, uh, shader programming, uh, 3D rendering, uh, exporting models, you name it, we're going to cover it. But to make sure that I do get it covered, if there's something very specific you want to see covered as part of this series, do let me know in this thread. This is probably the easiest place for me to kind of keep all of that stuff organized. So if there's something specific you want to see in this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. And if there is something you don't want to see in this tutorial, well, also let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so that's essentially it. Uh, should be a pretty cool time. It's going to take us a little bit of time. There is a lot to cover in Godot 3, uh, but uh, and, um, hopefully this is a very useful series and hopefully it's a very useful book when we are done. Uh, and again, the existing Godot stuff is still of some use. So I will link to the um, the current series I've already done on the previous versions of Godot 1 and 2, kind of blended together. So I didn't do a Godot 1 series and a Godot 2 series. I just did a Godot up to this point series. But you'll find probably 90% of that stuff is still accurate. So if you're looking to get going right now, uh, check out that old series. Uh, but hopefully this new one is going to be better in every single way. So anyways, let me know what you think. Are you excited about Godot 3? Uh, it's going to be the next couple of months on this channel. So um, let me know what you're interested in, what you want to see. And don't worry, I'm going to be covering other stuff in the meantime. But Godot is going to be a heavy focus. It's uh, one of the most interesting engines on the market, one of the fastest growing on the market, definitely one of the biggest community support behind it on the market. Um, so that's what we're going to focus on. So hope you're interested. Hope that sounds good. If it does, please do, of course, hit that like button. And if you're interested in this series, uh, you know, do hit subscribe. And once again, if you're interested in uh, checking out the book as it is developed and or you want to help support the channel, uh, please do check out my Patreon page. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, that's it for now. I will see you all later. Goodbye.